Welcome back to Fox Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Wedlock, released in the year 1991. The movie opens up in a Los Angeles jewelry market where people are openly trading diamonds. Here, we get to see an engaged couple, Frank and Noel, with one of their friends, Sam, sneaking into the market disguised as cleaners. Soon, they arrive at a floor where all the diamonds and jewelry are kept safe in a locker. The guards inform the group that they're on the wrong floor and need to return back, but suddenly, Sam uses his mop and knocks them down. Similarly, Noel uses a taser gun to electrocute other guards. After the coast is clear, the three enter the place and start opening the safe. Sam starts drilling holes in the locker's door while Frank tries to find the security alarm wires and defuse them. However, before Frank can do so, Sam opens the locker's door, causing the security alarm to turn on. Despite this, the three enter the locker and find a lot of diamonds. But before they can get out of the building, the cops arrive there. Surprisingly, the three also disguise themselves as police officers. When the cops approach them and inquire about the whereabouts of the diamond robbers, Frank replies that they're still inside the building. Hearing this, the cops ask Sam and Noel to join them, while Frank is ordered to keep an eye outside. After walking some distance, one of the cops notices a diamond necklace on Noel's neck and suspects that she's one of the robbers. But before she can inform her seniors, Noel shoots her and Frank also escapes in one of the police officer's cars. The police officers pursue Frank, but he manages to sneak into one of the restricted tunnels, leaving them behind. Other officers are waiting for him on the other side of the tunnel, but Frank again tricks them by sending an empty car towards them. In the following scene, Frank emerges out of a pothole with the briefcase containing the diamonds. Later at night, he meets up with Sam and Noel to divide the diamonds, but Noel betrays Frank and shoots him, revealing that she is with Sam. The scene then shifts to a moving bus, where a number of prisoners can be seen being taken to an experimental prison called Camp Holiday. Frank can also be seen there as he's apprehended for the robbery and is sentenced to 12 years of imprisonment. As soon as the group arrives at the camp, the warden of the place, Holiday, approaches them and informs about an electric necklace named Wedlock that they will have to wear at the camp. He also mentions that each of them will be provided with one of such necklaces, which will be linked to the other inmate. When the two linked inmates become apart for more than 100 yards, the sensors in the necklace will detect it and blow both their heads off. Next, Frank is made to wear the necklace, and the officer suggests he never try to remove, scratch, or damage it. After the installation of the necklace, the new prisoners are given their names by Emerald, one of the senior prisoners of the camp. Following this, the prisoners are taken to the warehouse, where each of them is assigned to a working group. Frank is teamed up with another prisoner, Teal, who is currently working on a special machine that supplies limited water to the prisoners for daily use. After working at the warehouse for some time, Frank is summoned by Holiday at his office. There, Holiday reveals that he knows everything about Frank's involvement in the diamond robbery, and orders the latter to disclose its location. Here, it's revealed that Frank didn't give the real diamonds to Sam and Noel and hid it somewhere else. Holiday threatens Frank to tell him about the diamonds or else he will torture him for the next 12 years. However, Frank does not budge and replies that he's ready for the torture. Later at the cafeteria, Frank sits with Teal to have dinner and at the same time, another female prisoner named Tracy approaches them. It seems like Frank dislikes her, so as soon as she sits beside him, he gets up from his place and walks away. Later at night, Holiday, along with some prison guards, enter the men's sleeping room, suspecting that one of the prisoners has managed to sneak something illegal into the prison. Soon, they find some cigarettes under Frank's sleeping bed and immediately take him into custody. Turns out that Emerald planted the cigarette under Frank's bed so that he could be punished. Frank is locked in an isolation chamber for days with Holiday frequently visiting him and asking if he's ready to reveal about the diamonds. Frank refuses every time, and because of this, Holiday continues to torture him. At his office, Holiday talks with someone over the phone and agrees to take Frank out of the isolation chamber and try other ways to extract information out of him. In the following scene, it's the magical hours for the prisoners. During this time, the male and female prisoners are allowed to meet each other and enjoy themselves in a private room. In the meantime, Tracy approaches Frank and asks him to follow her to one of the private rooms so that they can talk about something. 
Frank obliges, and there, Tracy reveals that they're wedlock partners. She also requests his help to escape the place, but the latter politely refuses and walks away. Meanwhile, the interaction between them is being watched by Holiday from his office. The next day, while Frank is working with Teal, Tracy arrives there and tries to persuade him to help her. Unfortunately, Emerald catches them talking and suggests Frank stay away from her. When Frank doesn't comply, a minor brawl ensues between the two. As a result, Emerald invites Frank for a fight the next morning in the prison yard. Later at night, when Frank is building an amplifier to harm Emerald the next day, Teal visits him and starts talking about the diamonds. After some time, to check if the amplifier is working or not, Frank tries to set it to Teal's wedlock, but it appears like his wedlock has not been activated yet. Just then, it dawns on Frank that Teal has been sent by Holiday to extract information about the diamonds. Enraged, he tries to attack Teal, but is separated by the other prisoners. The following day, Frank goes to the yard to face Emerald, but a guard checks his whole body and takes out the amplifier from his pocket. Soon, the match begins, and Emerald starts beating Frank to a pulp. Moments later, Frank grabs a piece of wood and sticks it into Emerald's collar, weakening its connection and setting an alarm. Emerald tries to stop his wedlock from beeping, but fails. Right then, the wedlock explodes and blasts Emerald's head. At the same time, Emerald's wedlock partner, Puce, also notices his wedlock beeping and dies after it blows his head off. In the next scene, when an ambulance arrives to escort Frank to the hospital, Tracy gets into the driver's seat and drives it out of Camp Holiday's compound. The guards try their best to catch up with them, but fail. In the next scene, it's revealed that Holiday is working with Sam and Noel to get the diamonds from Frank and distribute them among themselves. Meanwhile, Tracy and Frank make their way towards a city after stealing some clothes from a newly married Bangladeshi couple. Soon, they arrive at a motel and decide to spend their night there. Unfortunately, as they enter the room, the motel owner recognizes them as the runaway prisoners and informs the police. Meanwhile, Frank, who's an electronic genius, tries to disable the wedlock collar, but fails to do so as he lacks the necessary tools for it. The next day, before Frank and Tracy can leave the motel, police officers arrive there and ask them to surrender themselves. Left with no choice, the duo decides to comply. But suddenly, Sam and Noel arrive at the scene and shoot the cops, providing Tracy and Frank with enough time to flee. The following day, when Frank goes to a hardware shop to buy some necessary equipment, Tracy calls someone and informs him about their whereabouts. It's then revealed that Tracy is also working for Holiday, helping him extract information from Frank about the diamonds. In the call, Holiday tells her that Sam and Noel will meet her soon and help her with the further plans. Later, Frank starts a motorboat and the two set off for somewhere else, hoping to evade the cops. After some time, Tracy and Frank arrive in the city, where Tracy crashes her ex-boyfriend's wedding and punches him in the face. In no time, the security guards capture her and take her away from the wedding venue. Frank also follows her but fails to save her from the guards. Because the two cannot go farther than 100 yards, Frank tries his best to keep up with Tracy. In the meantime, Tracy tells the guards that she has a bomb fitted in her collar and that she's a prisoner from Camp Holiday. After they reach the ground floor, the guards leave Tracy alone and inform other people to get away from her. Fortunately, Frank manages to unite with Tracy and the two run away from the place. Later, Frank and Tracy get on a truck that is headed to Bondale, the place where Frank wants to go. Inside the truck, the two become close and share an intimate moment. Soon, they arrive at a resort in Bondale and decide to spend their night there. Before sleeping, Frank reveals to Tracy that his friend Jasper, who works at a brewery, has the diamonds and he's there to meet him. The next morning, Tracy is approached by Sam and Noel. Sam asks if Frank told her about the diamonds, but Tracy replies no and walks away. In the afternoon, Jasper arrives at the resort to pick up Frank and Tracy and takes them to the brewery he works in. There, he climbs up a ladder and takes out the bag of diamonds. However, before Frank can get the bag, Sam and Noel arrive there and shoot Jasper, killing him instantly. After that, Sam points the gun toward Frank, threatening to kill him. Right then, Tracy pulls a lever, causing a pile of sand to pour over Sam, distracting him. 
Using this opportunity, Tracy and Frank run away from there with the bag. After a bit of chasing, Sam manages to catch Frank, and when the duo starts fighting, Tracy takes the bag of diamonds and runs away. During the fight, Sam and Frank both fall into a big container. Noelle then finds Sam's pistol and aims it at Frank inside the container. Greedy about the diamonds, Noelle kills Sam first, but when she tries to shoot Frank, the bullets run out. Tracy manages to get Frank out of the container and the two make their way to an abandoned factory. Inside the factory, Frank reveals that the bag only contains some specialized tools and not diamonds. Turns out that Jasper has already traded the diamonds for money and hidden it somewhere. Frank tries to use the tools to disarm the wedlock, but fails as he was injured in the fight. Hence, he asks Tracy to follow his instructions and get the job done. Surprisingly, Tracy successfully disables the wedlock collar. In the next scene, Tracy and Frank drive to the ruins of a church-like place and start digging ten steps near the entrance. After a while, they find two briefcases full of money and a thank-you note from Jasper. Suddenly, Holiday and Noel arrive there in a chopper and reveal that they had already placed a tracker in Jasper's car, which helped them find their location. Soon, they hold Tracy and Frank at gunpoint and ask them to hand over the briefcases. Noel selects one of the briefcases and leaves the other for Holiday, but before Frank hands it over, he leaves an explosive inside it. After this, Holiday leaves in the chopper with one briefcase while Noel stays there to finish Tracy and Frank. Just then, Frank cleverly hands over the keys of Jasper's car to Noel and steps backward. Before leaving with the money, Noel presses the detonator of Tracy and Frank's wedlock, oblivious to the fact that it's already been disabled. Suddenly, the explosive inside Holiday's bag explodes, causing the chopper to get destroyed. At the same time, the car's key that Frank had given her also starts beeping and eventually explodes, killing Noel. The movie ends with Frank and Tracy walking away from the scene with a briefcase full of money. That was all from the video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe for more content like this and hit the like button to help us out. Also, leave a comment if you want us to recap your favorite movie. Until next time, take care.